Actress Gal Gadot is a leading lady in blockbuster movies, including the role that made her famous Wonder Woman. She is also a producer whose latest project, National Geographic Presents Impact with Gal Gadot, tells the stories of six remarkable women who, despite living in areas impacted by poverty, discrimination, and oppression, are making a difference in their communities. One woman featured is activist Kayla Gore, who is helping homeless trans women find shelter. Trans femmes would have to conform and sleep in male quarters and vice versa. There is always a heightened sense of violence that can happen to you. So most trans people choose not to use the services of shelters here in Memphis. Sometimes I had to sleep at abandoned houses like these because that's the only way I knew how to survive. And Kayla Gore is kind enough to join us now, along with host and executive producer Gal Gadot. Welcome to you both. Before we start, do you want to mention that National Geographic, like ABC, is part of the Walt Disney Company. And Gal, tell us about National Geographic Presents Impact with Gal Gadot, which will be streaming on National Geographic's YouTube channel starting on Monday. How did you select the women uh, that you profile in each of the six episodes? First of all, thank you so much for having us. And Kayla, it's so good to see you uh, virtually, but it's so good to see both of you ladies. Um, how, uh, how was the process of choosing the women? It was, it was hard to choose um, because they were so, we, we had to, to deal and handle and we research, we did such a deep research and we found so many amazing stories. And it's kind of hard to choose which one you like best, but we just knew and we followed our instincts and, and along together with Vanessa Roth and Ryan Pulata and Yaron Rosano, my husband, and E1 and National Geographic and everyone involved, it was pretty, it was, it was essentially pretty easy um, decision to make. And I am completely at awe of all of these ladies. And, and I, I adore and I salute them and I love them deeply for everything that they do and everything that they are. And Gal, of course, in particular, we're about to meet a trans activist, Kayla Gore of Memphis, Tennessee, who's featured in one of those episodes we just saw. What made Kayla's story in particular stand out to you? Wow. <sighs> First of all, I think I fell in love with Kayla uh, herself. I think that, you know, for her, every episode deals with a different theme, with a different subject. And with Kayla, I felt like it was home. And there's something so basic about, Kayla was born in the wrong home, you know, in the wrong body. And then not only that she had to, to evolve and to own who she really is and become the Kayla that she is, but then she had to face with homelessness and, and, and not having an actual home. And the fact, you know, it always amazes me that sometimes all we need is just one person to believe in us and to give us a chance. And she got that chance from someone and now she's the one who's believing in others and giving them the opportunities and empowering them and giving them the most you know the the, the most essential thing anybody need uh, a home um so she's 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 amazing she's an amazing woman and Kayla, you were once homeless, so you founded My Sister's House to help other trans women find food and shelter, like Angelica, who we saw in the clip. This situation has grown even more dire, especially for trans women of color due to the pandemic. What would you say are the greatest needs? The greatest needs for the trans community, more specifically black trans women, is safety and security. And that's what we're doing at My Sister's House with the Tiny House Project. Housing and, and being home, as Gal but I said, is, is essentially what gives a person the ability to move on to the next day and to be able to plan for years to come. And we want to do that for Black trans people is provide them with safety and security. And you've done certainly remarkable work through the Tiny House Project to help trans women living on the streets, which you started during the pandemic. Tell us about that and, and why even a tiny house means so much to someone who's on the street. 
So there's so much love put into the the creation of these tiny homes, and we're working closely with community and our architectural design firm and our general contractors to make sure that these homes provide exactly what I said, the safety and security for uh, trans people. The reason we decided to do tiny homes was because we wanted to provide this in a great number of ways. Um, we wanted to provide it to a lot of people. And we thought what would drive the cost down would be the construction cost of the square footage, because that's what contractors charge people to build homes. They charge them off the square footage. So we just wanted to make the square footage a little smaller. And our initial idea was to build these homes on the land that we already own at our emergency shelter. Um, but code wouldn't allow that to happen. So we had to think a little bigger uh, and we thought about tiny homes and they get that roof over their head, which is what matters. And lastly, Gal, there's so many heroes among us who you could have featured in Impact with Gal Gadot. Why is it so important to elevate women's voices in particular in this project? Uh, maybe because I'm a woman and I'm drawn to female-driven stories, and I feel like, you know, the world since forever been uh, dominate with male stories that are amazing and great and inspiring and fantastic. But with this one, I just wanted to give the stage to my sisters uh, and to more women and to show how essentially we you know to show the connectivity between all of us and how big of an impact we can all have gal gadot and kayla gore we thank you so much for coming on the show appreciate your time thank you so much for having us hi everyone george stephanopoulos here thanks for checking out the abc news youtube channel if you'd like to get more videos show highlights and watch live event coverage click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.